What's up, YouTube? This is Big Mike. Now, I did a video similar to this about two weeks ago when I asked you guys whether you thought Joe Johnson was going to be in the Hall of Fame. I saw that Joe Johnson was nearing 20,000 career points. And the answer that I got was a resounding no. A few people said yeah, but for the most part, most of you guys said no. And I agree with that. Now, the candidate this time, the other guy who's nearing 20,000 career points as the season comes to a close, is Pau Gasol. Uh, now, before I go further, I do believe that Pau Gasol is a Hall of Famer. First ballot... If McGrady is a first ballot Hall of Famer, then Pau Gasol is. Okay, uh, and I know people were like, well, Powell was never a superstar on the level of Trace McGrady. Yeah, if Trace was able to sustain his greatness uh, a little bit longer, uh, and also the era that we live in is just true. If Powell, if um, excuse me, McGrady was to have more postseason success, then McGrady would be one of the all-time greats up there with uh, Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant, but he really isn't. Uh, in my opinion. But he, I, I have no problem with being a Hall of Famer. I just don't think he's a top-tier Hall of Famer. But Pau Gasol, in my opinion, is up there, okay? You look at the resume, all right, with Pau Gasol. All right, um, he was a rookie. Uh, well, let's first look at the uh, the resume. Of course, two-time NBA champion with the Los Angeles Lakers and those later championship teams of the 2000s. He was a six-time NBA All-Star, more All-Star selections than a Reggie Miller. Two-time All-NBA second team, two-time All-NBA third team. He was 2001-2002 Rookie of the Year. J. Walter Kennedy Citizenship Award, he won in 2012. He was the FIBA World Cup MVP in 2006. Two-time FIBA Eurobasket MVP in 2009-2015. Remember, this isn't just the NBA Hall of Fame. This is the Pro Basketball and World Basketball Hall of Fame. Three-time FIBA Eurobasket top scorer, 2003, 2009, 2015. All EuroLeague second team, 2001. Because before he played in the NBA, he played for uh, FC Barcelona for three years. Um, Spanish Kings Cup MVP, 2001. Two-time Spanish League MVP, 1999 and 2001. Uh, Two-time FIBA Europe, Europe Player of the Year, 2008, 2009. Two-time Mr. Europa uh, player of the Year 2004 2009, and four time uh, Euroscar Player of the Year 2008, 2010, and 2015. Uh, as far as the Olympics, uh, you know, he's not from the United States, so he was never on the United States teams. But 2008, he won the silver for Beijing. 2012, he won the silver for London. And 2016, excuse me, what, did I, what am I saying? 2008 in Beijing, he won the silver for Spain. In 2012, uh, in London, he won the silver for Spain. In 2016, in Rio de Janeiro, he won the bronze for Spain. All right. Uh, so his resume is incredible. And when you look at uh, his accolades as far as NBA is concerned, he has 19,966 points. Uh so he's 34 points away from 20,000. There are four games remaining in the regular season, so he might be able to get there. Uh, he's not uh, once what he once was at this stage in his career. He's not a starter. Uh, but uh, I think he'll be able to get it before the season ends. Uh, he has over 10,000 rebounds, and he has over 3,500 assists. So, so look at that. He's a player with 20,000 points, 10,000 rebounds, and over uh, 3,500 assists. I think that includes a guy like a Charles Barkley. Okay, I think, if I remember searching correctly, I think Charles had over 3,500. So that includes a guy like Charles Barkley. All right. Uh, Powell was a good shot blocker, not great, like on the level of Alonzo Mourning or the Kimmy Mutombo or, you know, a Mark Eaton. He wasn't a, that prolific a shot blocker, but he was good. And, um, if he plays long enough, he has an outside shot of registering 2,000 blocks in his NBA career. Uh, but for the most part, Pau Gasol in his prime was a guy who, I think his prime was probably with the Memphis Grizzlies, first the, the Vancouver Grizzlies, but became Memphis Grizzlies. I think his prime years was with them, with the Lakers. He, he did have a good year with the Chicago Bulls, I remember. Um, 
a really good year for the Chicago Bulls. Uh, but in his prime, Pau Gasol was a guy that could get you about mm, 25 and 11 boards, maybe 12 boards, about two blocks a game. Uh, he was always a very accurate shooter. Uh, he wasn't a power player, per se, and one of the knocks on him was that he was kind of soft. Uh, but, and, and I've said that before, you know, uh, when it was Lakers sometimes, he was soft, and he was even criticized by the, for that. But um, he was a very good post player. Uh, he, he was also... Uh, to me, he was better facing the basket than he was the post, but although he could score in the post. Uh, but he had a nice sh- shot, and he's uh, extended his range as he's gotten older. In fact, coming into today, he's on the verge, if he can keep it up, although he's not nearly as prolific as the Kyle Culver, he's connected on 53 of 98 three-point shots this year. And if he can keep up that uh I hear my dog in the background. If you can keep if you can keep that up, he would challenge or seriously challenge Kyle Culver's record for three point percentage. Uh, like I said, it's not prolific; it's only ninety eight attempts, but it's still uh, something to be said. Uh, for his career, he's a fifty one percent career shooter. Uh, he's a seventy five percent foul shooter, which is excellent for a big man who's always a good shooter. Uh, and interestingly enough, the last couple of years, Pau Gasol has transformed himself into a three point shooter. He was never a good three-point shooter, but now for his career, uh, he's over 36% from beyond the arc, which is better than the career marks of a percentage-wise now, better better than the marks of a Michael Jordan, LeBron James, or Kobe Bryant. Uh, so, in my opinion, yes, Pau Gasol is a first ballot Hall of Famer. Uh, I'm trying to think of everything else I want to say about Pau. Um, I think in the playoffs, uh, he was big for the Lakers. Uh, they wouldn't have won those titles without his uh, contribution. Uh, but tell me what you guys think. 